I'm very grateful that circumstances worked out that Kathy and I could uh, be here with you and for this inaugural uh, Joseph Smith Lecture on Religious Liberty here at the University of Virginia. And I say that as a Duke graduate. I'm happy to be at the University of Virginia. <laughs> um, Kathy and I raised our family very much in this part of the country, in Maryland, in uh, Virginia, in Tennessee, and in North Carolina. And we appreciate, from our experience, the, the openness about religion in this part of the, of the country, the natural way people think and talk about it, and the environment that that created for the family that we raised here. It was not without a downside, and that is uh, those who, who had a misunderstanding and a, an opposition to our principles, our precepts, our beliefs. So there were, was both on one hand the support generally, and on the other hand a degree of opposition. And we saw the value firsthand of understanding, of reaching understanding if not agreement. Uh, I don't think there has to be, as uh, Senator Reid was saying in his lecture and answers the questions, full agreement on every issue, on every matter, but understanding is critical. And to me, one of the great things that comes out of a Mormon studies program, from our point of view, is the depth of understanding. And I mean that not only for those who are not of our faith, but for ourselves. I think there's more we can discover and understand and a deeper, more sophisticated appreciation, as uh, was said earlier by Kathleen Flake, of our own heritage and the depth of its uh, doctrine and its teaching and its practice. I feel honored, frankly, and I believe I speak for my colleagues in the leadership of the church, that there would be a Mormonism chair or study of Mormonism chair established named after Richard Bushman at this university in a program that is perhaps the premier religious studies program in the country and that we would have that kind of a, a chair and a, and a studies program that's still blossoming and still growing in this place at this time and I want to express my support and thank all those who have supported and made it possible. And thank Kathleen Flake for making herself available to take on this task of creating out of uh, what was not there something that is really beautiful. Very, how did you put it, Richard? Uh, sterling or <laughs> it's been fantastic what has happened in just a brief two year period already. And uh, we owe a lot to her. Uh, we have confidence her, in her abilities and in her insights, in her vision of things, and her leadership. So may it go forward from this point. May it continue to be and become what she envisions and what all of us hope it would be in this uh, very special place, Thomas Jefferson's University. We sometimes think of it as uh, Elder Robert Wood's University because he was on the faculty, but uh, not everybody sees that, Bob. <laughs> Jefferson, they know. <laughs> but uh, I'm honored to be able to speak uh, on behalf of it, and, and thank you for the privilege.